Oh, hi there. I didn't you come in. Welcome back to Pixel Juice. So it's finally happened, and no, I'm not talking about us uploading a video. I'm talking about this. This little beauty right here, the Nintendo Switch. Even after my multiple attempts to ask one of you guys at home to send me one for free, a bit like Oliver Twist. Please, sir. I want a Nintendo Switch. What? No one sent one through. I'd spend my own money, my own video games console. I wasn't happy about it. I actually contacted Nintendo to send me a free one, and they refused point blank. As none of you were fooled by my attempts to trick you on Twitter with my own personal recreation of the Switch, I finally got and done it. I bought my own from a very reputable salesman on eBay. So even though the Nintendo Switch is old news now, it's still new to me, so I thought I'd just give a few opinions on it after I wanted to get my hands on one for all of this time. So without further delay, let's do a, a, an unboxing. Oh, for fuck's sake. I've been bamboozled. <laughs> Don't worry, I just stole this from a child. So I've done it, I've actually got a real Switch this time round. You will see one by now, I'm sure. I went for the neon version just because I like the colours. I'm easily impressed. In the past, I've been a massive Nintendo fan. So for today's video, I want to give you, albeit very late, impressions on the Nintendo Switch console. Now, first of all, what stood out to me were these little doohickeys here, the Joy-Cons. When I first picked them out of the box, I've got to say, felt a bit like baby's toys. Kind of plasticky, kind of small. They're like controllers made for mice. It was a world away from the chunky two-handed controllers we're used to. Gotta say though, as I was playing Super Mario Odyssey, very quickly got used to them. It's actually pretty comfortable just being able to hold your hands out whatever direction you want. When the controllers were first revealed and they showed off the HD rumble for the first time using that ice cube demonstration, I just thought, bollocks, that can't be accurate. But I've got to say, actually, after spending some time with them, the HD rumble is pretty damn good. Overall, I'm very thoroughly impressed with the Joy-Cons. I think they're pretty cool. And even when you put on the uh, on the sides there and you get that nice little click sound. Isn't that, isn't that neat? Well, that's not the same as the logo, is it? That's not the same as the... So with Nintendo consoles, obviously you always get the Nintendo games, and the only game I've got so far for Switch is Super Mario Odyssey, which I'm enjoying very much. As a fan of Super Mario 64 and Sunshine, I'm having a blast. I've got 500 moons so far, but I'm uh, determined to track them all down. As I've already mentioned before, I'm very much looking forward to Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, but I'm also looking forward to Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu as well. And I might even treat myself and go back through Dark Souls. I've always been a massive fan of Nintendo games, and on my Wii U, I did buy most of the Nintendo first party library. And as someone who owns a PlayStation 4, an Xbox One, and both Nintendo systems, I realised I actually bought more games for this underappreciated dog than any other consoles. With the game card, it's got to go back to cartridges instead of discs, kind of a fun novelty. I remember the rumours as well when these first came out, is that people were starting to lick them because they tasted horrible. So I wanted to do a live, a live taste test of a Nintendo Switch Super Mario Odyssey cartridge. Maybe we can get other games in the future and compare flavours. Let's see what this one tastes like. Oh, it burns your tongue. It's sour. That wasn't a lie. Um, they do taste bloody horrible. I imagine that Pokemon and Smash Brothers and whatever else will taste different, so I'll do an exclusive taste test of those when they come out. Oh, oh God, that tastes like the devil's ass. What I really do like about the Switch, apart from the design and everything else, is the fact that it instantly becomes a multiplayer machine by default. Having these two Joy-Cons is fantastic fun. I was playing some of the two-player Super Mario Odyssey mode with my brother, just having a laugh. Uh, even a game like that, that's primarily one player. Good fun. I'm sure we'll play a few Smash Brothers rounds with these two as well. Not sure that's going to work, but it's going to be good fun giving it a go. The other controllers are expensive, and to buy another set of these, that's like 80 quid. To buy the Pro controllers, about 60. So it's great that it comes out of the box with two controllers by default. What's great, as you can tell from the Wii to the Wii U, now to the Switch, is that Nintendo have jam-packed all of the features into this one little device. Being able to use the Joy-Cons like Wii remotes on certain games, using it as a pointer in Super Mario Odyssey, for example, really cool touches. And it's so nice not to set up that stupid sensor bar each time. It always felt like a chore, and it always stopped me from setting the Wii back up. This one feels like a Fisher-Price Leapfrog toy console, while this one feels like the real deal. This screen is a much, much better quality, just a really sharp picture. I'm not really gonna take my Nintendo Switch out and about that often, it's pretty much gonna be a home console, but uh, it's nice to have the option uh, if I want it. The kickstand is not really a feature, I'm not gonna talk about that. I don't live the life of those millennials on their planes and in airports meeting people. I sit at home most of the time in the dark. For me, the internal storage being small doesn't really matter because I don't really download games digitally, so I'm not gonna rant and rave about that. And with Nintendo Online, I don't care yet, so I haven't bought it, haven't tried it out, so I'm not gonna sit and complain about it. Although it is disappointing they've got rid of the Virtual Console and replaced it with a few crappy NES games that we don't really wanna play. It surprised me how small it was to begin with, it surprised me especially with the controllers, but I got used to it very, very quickly. And I don't think I'm gonna be buying a Pro Controller anytime soon because 60 quid for my liking is too fucking expensive. I had to beg, borrow and steal just to get this one. So, so is the Nintendo Switch as good as I hoped? Yeah, I've got to say it is. And with Nintendo, it's nice to know that I'm not late to the party and there's not an upgraded version of this coming out in the next couple of months or anything. Oh, fuck. Go away.